Well, sometimes it's called social license. Sometimes it's called market access. Sometimes it's called the social license to get market access. But, I mean, we know, you know, that Canada is having a hard time getting pipelines built. Uh, whether it is the Northern Gateway or the Energy East or the Keystone XL or others. I mean, there's challenges in building pipelines. Some of those are all in Canada. Some of those are crossing international borders. Part of the opposition, part of the difficulty in building those uh, pipelines is that the oil sands, the oil patch, but the oil sands in particular, has become a flashpoint. It's become a flashpoint. And I would say that you know, Canada as a whole has not done a great job in terms of getting its greenhouse gas emissions under control. You know, our emissions are rising, they are not falling, let me just put it that way. Um, and so I think you can make a very coherent case that says if we actually had carbon pricing in place, whether it was Alberta or Western Canada or every province or Canada as a whole, if you had carbon pricing policies in place that were credible and that were comprehensive and that were actually effective at reducing greenhouse gas emissions, at least you could hope, and I think you could probably make a coherent case, that there would be less opposition. You know, Canada would be seen as being environmentally a better performer, and maybe there would be less opposition and maybe even more support for building those pipelines. So I think market access, the social license, I think that's very important.